computer. And I am going to introduce Caprice Krebar. Hang on one second. Spotlight for everybody. Hey, Caprice. Nikki, I, I can introduce her. I have her bio. Oh, and... I for, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Kirsten, I'm- Yeah, right you, you get to call. unplug, friend. Oh, are you, do you know how happy that makes me to get to have you to do that? I am sitting back and I'm zipping it up. Yep, awesome. Well, I'm Kirsten Evenson. Um, and, and as you guys know, uh, this is Transformational Tuesday uh, that we do the second Tuesday of every month. Uh, this is our 15th transformational presentation and um, started this at the beginning of 2023 uh, as uh, Mindset Monday, and we've just rolled right into our, our Tuesday call. So, um, you know, what I am really looking for as a facilitator for these transformational talks it are the people in my world and beyond that I feel uh, just offer a lot of inspiration, um, not just in the business realm, but in the heart realm, because we know uh, that this is a personal development uh, program cleverly disguised as a business, right? So I, I was thrilled when Caprice Krebar uh, stepped up and, and was enthusiastically uh, willing to be our presenter tonight on a really important and amazing subject, building resilience. So um, Caprice and I have been a part of a leadership team for a couple of years together, so I know how amazing she is, but I will introduce you all uh, to her. Um, she's been a member of the Juice Plus company for over 17 years. Uh, her business has enabled her to specialize in plant nutrition and make a powerful difference in the health of others. Uh, Caprice is also the owner of a business networking organization, uh, and I love the name of this Caprice HeartLink Network Worldwide, which provides uh, entrepreneurial women with community networking and resources to improve the health of their businesses and their lives. Uh, with 32 years of experience in sales, I mean, she's only 33, so how could this be possible? <laughs> um, in marketing, business, leadership, networking, and health coaching, Caprice has put on more than 500 business and health-related events after a corporate career in wireless technology. So she's coached and connected thousands of people who have joined HeartLink Network worldwide and who have counted on her for plant-based nutrition and guidance. She considers herself a resource for all things healthy and a committed connector for women to gain the tools to feel better, look better, and show up as their best selves. So who better to talk about resilience than Caprice Krebar? And I'm going to turn it over to you, Caprice. Thank you so much, Kirsten. I think I do have some experience in this area after almost 18 years in the Juice Plus company. And I'll just start by sharing my story. I, uh, you know, I was a busy professional didn't have a lot of time for my family. My family was being taken care of by others, a nanny. My kids were sick a lot. Uh, they were eating a lot of processed food and I felt really guilty. So that's how I got into this whole field 18 years ago. And when I realized that we were experiencing health improvements and just having the peace of mind that we were getting all that nutrition, I realized that this is something I wanted to share with others. So Fast forward, I look back at all of the experiences I've had, which have made me the woman I am today. Without the Juice Plus company, my life would be very different. I, I live with passion to serve others. It's really what got me into my other business as well. So I have so much credit to give. Though along the way, there were many times when I faced adversity and that I felt really challenged and had moments where I could have easily quit this business. I always looked at my toolbox for resilience in those times. And you know, one of the, the key mantras that I always said over and over are, well, two things. I have an unshakable belief in what I do with the Juice Plus company and its integrity and everything that, that makes it the highest quality nutritional product on earth. And I have a purpose to make a difference in the world. And Juice Plus has been a vehicle, key vehicle for that. I raised my kids sharing this business and showing them what it was like, you know, what it was like to have a mother who was driven and, and wanted to make a difference and was an entrepreneur. And I continue that also kept me going because I wanted to 
continue to show them that I wasn't a quitter. So you will, as an entrepreneur, you'll always experience bumps. And what I'm going to share with you today and what some of you will be sharing as well as part of this presentation is how you can stay steadfast and strong and don't let anybody steal your shine. Don't let any challenges deter you from your dream and from what you want to achieve, even if it's just to you know, make a mark in this world, helping people um, get healthier. And that is the message today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and share my screen with you. And first, I want to say that you are all very special. Um, this presentation is about how resilience makes you extraordinary. And really, you're already extra extraordinary, and I'll share, share why that is. First of all, resilience. It's the ability to withstand setbacks, adapt to change, and maintain your focus and confidence amidst challenges. It's the process of adapting well in the face of trauma or significant stress and adversity. I, I'm sure some of you have seen this before. This is the life of an entrepreneur. Okay? We are all entrepreneurs. It makes us very unique, very extraordinary. So give yourselves a pat on the back because there aren't a lot of people. You're, you're in the minority. Yeah, there aren't many people who are as extraordinary as you, but you can see that being an entrepreneur has its highs and lows and highs can be really high and lows can be really, really, really low. So this is where having resilience and training yourself to have a mindset to oppose you know, these dips, these valleys, and know that there's always going to be a peak again. That's just how everything is in life. Right. So stay steadfast, stay focused, have that belief in yourself and you can get through these lows. So as an entrepreneur, we're excited at times where it's working and we feel great. We got a new Juice Plus customer. We got a new Juice Plus team member. You know, those are the super highs. And then in the middle of that, we have, oh, my gosh, it's so hard. Oh, my gosh, I messed up. Oh, I think I'm going bankrupt. I'm not growing as fast as I thought I would. I was, I was wrong. You know, I suck. You know, we have those bad feelings too as an entrepreneur. And it's no different in the Juice Plus company or any other comp business that you would be part of. Um, it's all the same process when you are running your own business, making your own decisions, um, doing that DMO that, you know, we have to initiate, not a boss that we're reporting to that just tells us what to do. So, um, so this is where um, you're not alone. This is a very common life cycle of, a, of an entrepreneur. So why does this make you extraordinary? So according to the Global Entrepreneur, Entrepreneurial Monitor, one in five adults, that's only 19% in the United States are entrepreneurs. So 80% of the other people in the United States are not doing what you're doing. They're, they're going the easy route. Entrepreneurship is challenging, but it's also extremely rewarding. So know that, that you are unique, you're special, you're extraordinary. So what are key strategies for building resilience? Here's a few here, and then I'm going to share some more. And we're also going to have some interaction um, towards the end of this presentation. So keep thinking your head, you know, when you faced adversity, what, what did you do to get beyond it, to bounce back? So number one, how, like, as I said, you know, I have an unshakable belief in what I offer and in myself. You know, it doesn't mean that there are times when I doubt myself and that that I wonder if I'm doing the right thing or that maybe I can't, or maybe I'm, I'm uh, you, know, you know, I'm not doing as well as they are or whatever. There's times like that, but all in all, I do have a strong belief in myself and you can too. You're unique, you're special. Only you can do what you do and only you can be the perfect person to serve someone who's the perfect person to be served by you. So, have that unshakable belief in Juice Plus and yourself. Number two, embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. And that's something that I've always, you know, whenever there's a setback, my mindset immediately goes to what can I learn from this? What can I learn from this 
that will help me in the future, my business, my life, my relationships. And that's always my number one go-to. And if you look at challenges like that and you understand that you, know, you can't have a life without challenges, I mean, that'd be so boring, wouldn't it? I mean, if everybody here on earth had you know, just a perfect life, no. I mean, that those, those valleys are designed specifically to help us grow. So if you always go there first, that'll help you bounce back. Reframe your setbacks. It's along the same lines as valuable lessons. There are a lot of stress management techniques because that's where our, we go into that high cortisone, cortisol stress, you know, area where we're just, you know, we, we, that's actually not good for our health either. So eat all your fruits and vegetables, take all your juice plus to help counter that stress. But there's a lot of other uh, techniques like mindfulness, exercise, PQs, if you did the positive intelligent program, I mean, that's the, the PQ exercises are fantastic for stress management and, and distraction techniques to help you focus on um, the positives. Uh, surround yourself with mentors. I mean, we've got such amazing mentors and Nikki and our sideline friends here. Uh, we are very, very lucky. That makes us ex extraordinary too. So many people walk through life and don't have, don't have that support structure. So we, I count myself as very, very lucky that I walked into a, a company, a team where I can go to anybody for support in times of doubt. Stay flexible and adaptable in the face of unexpected changes or challenges. So I wanted to share with you here some feedback on, uh, from some of our own team members that might be here on the call. So first, Heather Todd. I asked Heather, you know, what, what do you do to, to be resilient? And she said, positive self-talk. Don't attach your heart to the outcome of a conversation. You know, you did your duty to share. Don't worry about the outcome. You did your part. And it's up to that person in their time, in their life to make a decision. You never know. They might come back to you likely down the road. You never know who needs to hear about the opportunity today. It might have just been exactly what they've been looking for. So if you just you know, believe that in every conversation you have, the, the outcome doesn't matter. Uh, you will speak to the right people all the time at the right time. Ashley Saveri. Ashley said, stay connected. Team calls. You're all staying connected here. I'm so proud of all of you. Trainings, conferences, just stay you know, locked in with the team so that you can always be pumped up. You always know there's something great ahead. You always find new tools to, to persevere in as an entrepreneur and in this business. Uh, never stop growing. She did add something here. I didn't put it in, but never stop growing because when you stop growing, you're dying. <laughs> so <laughs> like a flower, I'll add that, like a flower. Um, Lisa Bartlett. Whenever the negativity creeps in, I lean into my unwavering belief I have in Juice Plus. It always gets me right back on track every single time. So what I wanted to do here is just open it up, open up some questions to the floor here. And the first, these are real life stories, right? We're all human beings. You know, we all have our own experiences. We're not alone. Our, a lot of our experiences are similar, but I'd love to hear from someone here, when you encountered a setback or obstacle, how did you bounce back from it? Does anybody want to step in and, and offer an experience? Heidi? Sure. Are, are you talking specifically in my business or is it in life? Caprice, do you want to stop share so we can see? Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. That's a great idea. Hold on a second. So I'm talking specifically about business. Do you have a business okay. experience? Yeah, I do. So several years ago, actually, um, I'm not going to go into specifics because it's still kind of painful. I will say that. Um, but there was a miscommunication with a team team partner and um, and also it's sensitive because she is still part of my team. Um, but it really rattled me. Uh, my my character was um, questioned and um and i know that my intentions were really true but it it really hurt and it it really rattled me for a long time and when i did recognize that i it made me afraid to kind of reach out and bring on more team i've got a, i it really did 
But thankfully, you know, like you were saying earlier about having mentors, having Nikki and Chris at the time to to help navigate through that and process that situation in the time just really was incredible. Um, also, shortly after that, um, there was some life happened to a lot of my team members and and my my numbers weren't the same. And I was getting so close to QNMD and that was crushing also. And again, I have to say it was Chris and Nikki that took me off a ledge. And I'll never forget um, Chris always saying, um, doubt takes you out of action, but action takes you out of doubt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got into action with after, after having a pep talk, <laughs> many pep talks with them. <laughs> yeah, action is critical, just focusing and getting back in action. I think that's such an extraordinary advice. I love the acronym ACT, action changes things. And mm. you're just gonna stay in that position and stay in that mindset unless you act and change things. So I really love that you said that. The, um, the second question that I wanted to share is, how has reframing setbacks, so reframing a setback as an opportunity for growth, help strengthen your resilience, help strengthen your resilience when you reframed it as an opportunity for growth. Anybody have an experience with that? I'm sure someone here has an experience reframing a setback as an opportunity for growth. Nikki? Yeah, I, I can go with, with that one. Um, I will just, um, hang on one second, let me try this, um, where'd it go? So, you know, at one point in our business, when we moved from water filters and air filters to Juice Plus, um, number one, I was not excited about Juice Plus. I really wasn't. I thought it was the stupidest thing I'd ever heard of. And I wanted to continue doing what we were doing. And, uh, and that wasn't possible. That really wasn't possible. And during that whole shift over, we went from having 1,200 or more people in our downline to maybe a handful. We went into triple whatever the digits are, you know, lots of money every month to under $1,000 a month. I was getting ready to write our resume, thinking that we had to leave. And Chris and I really sat down and had a heart to, to heart about Jay Martin at the time and his vision for where we were going. And we, re we reframed this as a place to completely start over, to change the energy and culture of our team and help the entire company change the culture of the, of the, of the business. We had, um, at that time, we had a boot camp called Winterfest. And at that particular boot camp, we had 65 NMDs come because they all came to ski. And we got together, those 65 last NMDs and said, what are we going to do and how are we going to make this work? And we all took this on ourselves to recreate who we were and what we're about. So we really had a chance to rebuild from the bottom up and make it a culture that was much more attached to love and connection than it was to money and opportunity. Mm -hmm. I uh... I've heard that story and it's so inspiring because yeah, that's a very dark place. It's very hard to, to climb out of a dark place like that. And so it's to, to have you as an example and see, you know, what you were able to reclaim for your life, you know, through a partnership with the Juice Plus company is just really incredible. You know, and really it was the second time something like this had happened. We had come into this business bankrupt. So we were losing our home, not sure how we were going to feed our kids built this business only to two or three years later, find it completely collapse again and only go from, you know, 1200 distributors to a handful and just decided to, to stay with it, to just really meet the challenge. And of course, mm -hmm. it's what you said too. It's who's around you. Who's there to support you. We had great support system. That's wonderful. You know, I, um, you know, th there's times when it seems like, you know, gosh, should I be doing this? And, and I know everybody's gone through, and we've all had those times. What I lean on is my faith a lot. And I believe that we all have a purpose. We have a plan. And I really do believe that 
what I do is a part of the Jesus Plus Company as part of my plan to make a difference and make a mark in this world and make an impact on people. And I want to have lasting impact on people. And when Juice with Juice Plus, what better way to have lasting impact on people? And you know, the whole landscape of you know health and wellness in the world. So I think we're really lucky from that standpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and share the screen again and share some of the uh, other pieces of, of input that I was provided ahead of time here. So thank you to all of you who, who supported this. Uh, so next is Patty, Patty Buckholz. Patty said that I'm not stuck. Stop. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stuck unless I stop. I guess you could be stick, sticky too. Um, unless I stop, do something, talk to someone, post something on social media, follow up with a prospect or customer, just don't stop. And she's reading a book. She said that she um, is loving the concepts in called Do the New You. And who's that by, Patty? It's by Pastor Stephen Burdick of Elevation Worship Church. Wonderful. Well, thanks for sharing that. And I love this photo because it just shows like the Wonder Woman in you. You can deflect any adversity. <laughs> so wonderful picture for this presentation. Nikki Cotton. Nikki shared one of her favorite quotes about resilience that came from one of our, uh, somebody who's been a mentor to so many of us in the Juice Plus company, Catherine Lee. And she said that a setback is simply a setup for a comeback. And, you know, they, they, who has seen the, um, the image of a bow and arrow where you pull the bow and arrow back and that's like the setback, but boy, it launches you forward for a comeback. So I love, I love that statement. And, and, you know, Nikki says it's so powerful for all areas of life. It's all about awareness and being aware of what's happening so that you can apply all the, all of these resilience tools. If you're not aware, you don't know what, and, and you get lost in that stress and you can't even, even, can't even think about, oh, I need resilience and I have this, all these tools in my toolbox. So just be aware so that you can use the tools in your toolbox. And then lastly, Carrie Davis, I love this photo of you, Carrie. Uh, Carrie, Carrie said that, well, she quoted Og Mandino, failure will never overtake me if my determination to succeed is strong enough. And that goes back to something that we're all, all taught in the beginning of our journey with the Juice Plus Company is what is your why? You know, what, you know, your why has to be big. And I know mine is, was big and still is big. And I'm a lifer with the Juice Plus Company. I, I think about and talk about Juice Plus every day, like it's my third arm. So I, I, um, I absolutely am, am so grateful, but I, it's your determination to succeed can be strong enough. You really do some work to, you know, I, I suggest getting a big piece of paper, free flow writing, every single word, reason, until you have that entire sheet of paper filled up with no more space. You could do it. Like, don't stop at a list of 10. Just Fill up every space on that piece of paper with reasons and words and feelings and, and ways that that are the whys behind why you do this. And uh, that will really fuel you and fuel that determination. So I'm going to go back to, again, as, as I close here, what is resilience? You know, resilience is a foundational skill. It's like Juice Plus is foundational nutrition. You can layer all kinds of health and wellness things, but nothing replaces Juice Plus and nothing replaces resilience. We need it in, if you've lived as long as I have, you know, those of you who are younger, you might have, you know, little bumps here and there, but over the long term of life, you will face uh, some kind of adversity that seems overwhelming. And just know that, that this resilience, if you build these skills, it's their foundational skills that are going to, you know, shoot your bow and arrow far beyond where it ever would have gone without that adversity that helped you grow. So take proactive steps to cultivate resilience in your business and your life. And love yourself and know that you're unique and you're extraordinary, though you're not alone. 
it may be that only 19% of us in the United States chose this path of entrepreneurship. That's millions and millions of people that, that live a similar day-to-day -day in building a business and finding clients and building their team. You know, we're all working similarly and facing these ups and downs in entrepreneurship, like you saw in that chart, um, that get us ultimately to our goal, even though it's not a straight, smooth line. And don't ever let anyone steal your shine. You are miraculous. You're a difference maker. You have purpose here on earth. You found Juice Plus for a reason. And no matter what adversity you face, like, you know, like Heidi described, I've had experiences like that. Uh, just pray for that person or that challenge and just move on and go with that mantra that I'm never going to let anyone steal my shine. Thank you, everyone. Be resilient. All right, Caprice, if you could unshare a screen so we can see all everybody's faces. And I just want to make a comment. So many people in the meeting chat kept commenting over and over again. They loved the quotes. They loved that you showed people's pictures. They <laughs> loved the training. They loved slides. I mean, really, it's just, it was an excellent, fabulous training. And, and um, do you want to wrap us up, Kirsten? Sorry, I jumped in. I forgot. That's it's okay. I, you know, the close is always my challenge, Nikki. So <laughs> um, I just caprice, my heart is so full and I took so many notes and screenshots. Um, I really needed to hear this. And, you know, I think we all have our messages of resilience, but um, just knowing that we are in such good company and have such amazing support is, is what, um, Helps, helps buoy me. So I um, just want to remind you that our next Transformational Tuesday is Tuesday, April 9th. And uh, we have a mystery speaker. It's mysterious even to me at this point. So we'll see, we'll see you on the 9th. And Caprice, you're going to be a really hard act to follow. You were amazing tonight. And thank you. Thank, thank you for the opportunity. Beautiful call. Thank you all. Caprice. Really amazing. Really great call. Good night, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good, Good night. night. Good night.